Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we're here to talk about how do I open up a business checking account in today's environment. So, all right, so here's what we got going on. We got the environment that we're talking about, the COVID-19, and it's going around. And I'm trying to open up a business bank account. I just started to get into ATM business. I thought this was going to be a good thing. And now this happened this pandemic happened and now I'm trying to open up a bank account. I've done a lot of studies. I'm looking online. I'm getting the business all dialed in and now I'm going to open up a bank account and I and how do I do that? Because the banks are closed. So always remember we have an A to Z program that teaches you how to get into the ATM business. It'll take you from where you're at now all the way to be an expert guru in the business. We also have an ATM mastermind group page for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business and no, it doesn't cost anything to get into that. And there's tons of value and like-minded individuals just like yourself who can share and add value to you and in your business. All right. So now we got five, five tips on how to get a business banking account in today's society. All right. So I always say, stay away from the big banks. That's the big four banks. Go with the little lo local bank, um, uh, a credit union or a local bank. Some uh, community banks always work good, savings and loans, they're great banks to work with. They're, they're community oriented and it's it's easier for you to deal with them and they're, it's easier for them to deal with you. So they're very sympathetic to small business, which that's what you are right now. Okay, so first thing you do, number one, I got five points, always got five. Number one point is you're gonna call the bank, and you're gonna ask to speak to a personal banker. And then you're going to tell them what you do. Okay. You're going to tell them you're, you're new to the game. You got your corporation set up. You've been in the, in the business for however long, couple months, three months, and you're ready to set up a bank account, but we got the situation in your hands. So they're going to tell you what they need for you to do this. Okay. Point number two, this is what the bank is always going to ask. They have these, these lingos called KYC, know your customer and anti laundering laundering activities. And so what they want to do is they're going to want to avoid this situation. So one of the things they're going to do is they're going to ask you for point number two, a letter from your ISO that says that you've been vetted and there is some reassurance that you're just not trying to launder money through their bank. Banks are scrutinized very heavily for cash businesses. This, this comes under a cash business. You're going to be taking money in uh, out of the bank on a weekly basis and they're, they're, they're going to throw up red flags. So you want to be very cautious and transparent in what you do. So how do you do that? Is you just set up two accounts, one for your vault cash and one for your surcharge. Point number three is what you're going to do is you're going to take the amount of money that you're going to put in your ATM and instead of putting it into the ATM and then going into the bank, business bank account, what you want to do is you want to take that however much it is, two to five thousand dollars, you want to put that right into the bank account and let that and let that fester for a little while. That is going to show the bank, hey, I got these funds and this is the amount of money that I'm going to be circular all the time. So you say, okay, let's say it's 5,000. I'm going to put the five grand into my vault cash account, open up maybe a surcharge with a hundred dollars. Vault cash is going to say 5,000. I put that in and then, you know what, when you get your first location, then you can say, you know what, I'm going to take out 2,000 and let that, let that go around in circle like it normally does. But at least it shows the bank where the money is, where it come from, and that just trickles in because that's what they're always afraid of. And number five, you're going to get that location agreement and you're going to give that to the bank that shows that you're in business and you have an agreement with this location so you can get that business bank account. A lot of times what the banks want to see is they want to see that, hey, I, I have a contractual agreement with, let's say, Joe's Bar and Grill or Harry's Convenience Store that I'm going to put an ATM into this location. And so that therefore, you're not just some person off the street, some some person that they can't trust. They're going to look for this location agreement. And then once you have that in place, then you can get a business bank account. Sometimes it works in reverse. You're able to set up the vault cash account or the business checking account first. And sometimes they want to see before they open up a business account. So it just depends on what your environment is. But but either way you can go, you'll be able to set up a business bank account with the, with these tools in place. Always remember to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Uh, always comment below. 
And we don't forget we have an ATM Mastermind group page that's free to join for like-minded individuals just like yourself. So I hope to see you over at the ATM Mastermind group page. Thank you very much.